Hello, uh, this is a quite special video uh, about the last couple of days that uh, shows that, well, sometimes some things really happen that you haven't really planned for, but in some way it looks as if it's all meant to be. Uh, but I'll start by talking about um, these leaflets that I purchased not that long ago. Uh, these are leaflets uh, uh, from the late 60s for the radio store Ducks or the radio brand or radio television um, gramophones, tape recorders. Uh, it was called uh, Ducks. Uh, and Ducks was like a s mm, Swedish brand, I think. Uh, but they mainly used uh, electronics from Philips. Uh, and the reason why I started, uh, why I bought these uh, when I found them, because it's not that uh, easy to find these kinds of stuff, um, it was because I was a bit curious about finding more information about the first record player that I had. And that was a record player that uh, my mother bought when she was studying in uh, Uppsala. She bought it from from an American who who was there, and uh, that record player was initially uh, initially bought in the late sixties or around nineteen seventy. Uh, and the only thing that I remember now that uh, it was that it was ducks. Also, I, I I remember what it looks like more or less, but still. I didn't know the number or the actual name of it, other than that it was a duck smoking. But when I, this is a beautiful leaflet, isn't it? When I uh, had a look in this one, I actually was very lucky. Of course, let's see if I found it. Yeah, here. I don't know if you can see it. Is it this one? Yeah, this one. There we go. There's a picture of it. That was the first simple uh, stereo that I had or listened and used as a kid, where I had my first musical experiences. And it's quite a simple record player with a built-in uh, radio, a stereo uh, record player. and but. The most well, it's fun to see it and read about it here. What they use, um, what they say to be able to sell it. Uh, a bit of specifics about this record, this record player. But <clears throat> the most important thing is here. I get the name of the actual uh, record player. It's uh, DX forty six eighty one. Now. Uh, I googled uh, Dux DX4681 uh, and I found a quite good picture of it. So, <laughs> just as a, uh, it was quite an experience yeah, seeing that, that old record player that I, was part of my childhood again. Uh, so, I uh, then I uh, put up that picture on Facebook and just show, well, this is how it all started. This was the first kind of record player that I had. Uh, of many record players. I have many record players during, during the years. Uh, so, well, just to share <laughs> my nostalgic feelings about this. Then, a couple of minutes later, well, a couple of hours later, I got a comment in uh, Facebook uh, at, uh, underneath that picture from a friend of mine who is a radio collector and the radio gramophone enthusiast uh, that lives well quite a bit from me far away uh, I've never actually met him in person before because well when I first got in touch with him I lived up in the north and he lives in southern Sweden anyway so he, he wrote that I, I've got one of those and it's working and I'm not um, do, would you like to buy it and well I think well 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 what what a coincidence um, and then, well, yeah, I might be interested. And then I found out, well, he was actually going to Stockholm 
for another uh, for another thing that he was going to do. So he could actually drop it off at my house <laughs> on his way there. So I thought, well, this is fantastic. I mean, all these things fall into place, and uh, just 24 hours after I found this this picture in this leaflet. And I'll have one of those gramophones again. And I thought we'd, we'll have a look at it. And here it is. The Dux 40, uh, DX4681. Um, it's quite simple gramophone uh, and with two uh, speakers. Uh, I remember these uh, speakers from the old gramophone because I kept them long after the uh, gramophone from my childhood when, when that had, was broken. I, I kept the speakers and used them as extra speakers uh, a couple of times. Anyway, anyway, this is what it looks like. Uh, let's remove the lid. Thus. And well, what can we say here? It's uh, quite simple and obvious, some sort of Philips uh, record player with a quite normal ceramic cartridge with a uh, flip over needle. You flip it over and you can play 78 RPMs on it. Uh, we got 33, 45 and 78 RPM here. We also have a radio and this is the dial for the stations. Uh, I haven't got the... Well, I think I have uh, the kind of antenna that you need for these, a, a bad antenna. Uh, but uh, I don't know really where I've got it, so I haven't tried that yet. Otherwise, we have tone and balance. It's like two volume volume controls here uh, for left and right. And we've got tone, uh, volume and balance. I don't know if I said tone. We've got extra bass. Where uh, to put in the tape here, uh, the gramophone, FM for radio, and of course the power switch. There we go. And <clears throat> this hasn't been used for, for a year or so, so uh, the guy, the friend who I bought it from, told me to, well, you probably need to uh, put some oil or, well, lubricate it a bit. Uh, and it was a bit hard to get started, um, but uh, after a while I managed to do it. Um, but I will get some oil tomorrow and <coughs> uh, fix it so it runs even smoother. But it works, and it's lovely. I mean, this is this is real. I think this is real real wood. It's a real wood casing. It's no it's no plastic here. I, mean, I think it's jacaranda. I think it's jacaranda. Or I, I don't know if, if that's the English name for it. So, well, uh, I tried it a bit, and uh, uh, first it had some problems getting up into right speed, but then after a while I think it's quite good. I even tried using this uh, Lenko stroboscope that I got with my Lenko uh, record player, the L78, and I think it, it's quite up to speed. Um, and the needle is well, fairly good. I, I mean, these these needles are that spectacular, uh, nor are the pickups. And this has never been a hi-fi equipment, but today it's uh, well, it's a it's a lovely, charming little record player, um, and I think it was quite popular because when I was a kid, I saw this model uh, in quite many homes. So, I thought, let's try to play something here. Let's listen to something. So, hmm, what to play, what to play? Well, <laughs> the best idea is to play something that uh, I might have played back then, in, in those days. So, well, I have to have a look in my record collection to see what to pick. Be right back. Uh, my record collecting friend, Jonas, uh, Sublime Media, uh, showed this actual release that he got uh, as a gift from another member of the vinyl community uh, recently. So I'll 
Well, since this record was a part of my childhood, Johnny Cash, uh, original Golden Hits, Volume 1, I thought it would, good to, would be nice to try it on this uh, record player. Uh, this is not the, uh, <laughs> exact the sa exactly the same copy that I grew up with, uh, but another copy that I got quite recently. Uh, so, let's just play a bit and, and see what it sounds like. Right. I hear the train a come, it's rolling around the bay, and I ain't seen the sunshine. So yeah, I don't know it runs a bit slow, but I think that will be a fix when I uh, put some oil in this. Uh, and also, it, it is. It gets up to the right speed after a while. So it's. The motor is still a bit tired. But I think that will be much better when I fix that. Let's see if the. See if the uh, stop works. Yeah, works fine. I have to say that the, the speakers are quite good. I mean, well, quite good. They are not hi fi, but they got quite a nice bass sound. So. And uh, hmm? uh, I thought we we're going to try to play a bit from a, from a 45 too that I probably probably played back then. If you bear with me for one look. Here we go. The favorites on my my mother back in the 60s, the Hep Stars. Uh, one of their early hits, Sunny Girl. <clears throat> Hep Stars today international internationally mainly known because. They had young Benny Anderson of ABBA, of later ABBA fame, on the organ. So, let's see. She's a sunny girl, her rainbow, and no one can declare. Yeah. She's something that I never needed, never want to care. Maybe running in 44 RPM, 43 RPM, but. Her rainbow, that's why she's never fine. She won't ask for anything but a better girl. She's the mystic, she's property, she's living like me. She's the virgin, she is faithful, take care of me. And I see to let your brother in a world I just created. The interesting thing, the extra bass is when the uh, this bass button is not pushed in when it's up. Then you have the extra bass, but when you push it in, you lose it. That's a bit knob. I don't remember that from back then. I don't think we played with that button then. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's quite fine. I think this was a nice surprise to find this uh, record player, and uh, it mean it still needs a bit fiddling about and, and 
fixing, but so far it works quite fine and sounds sounds better than I <laughs> remember that uh, my old one did. So, uh, but the, I think the the main layer, the most uh, the funniest thing about this is the fact that just 24 hour, hours ago I put out this picture of this uh, record player on, on Facebook, and now I have one of my own. That's that's quite amazing, I think so. Right. Uh, well, I hope you found this somewhat interesting, and uh, I wish you a very good uh, Saturday and Sunday. Bye-bye.